etc. Um, Lestrade, Stradler. When Macaque accepts himself and goes back to the mountain, and he, rem he remembers his name after he is um, sort of reconciled. And his name, if I'm not mistaken, is Felix Hobain. I think that's how it's pronounced. I was just curious, because of all the symbolic names, does, does the name Felix Hobain have a significance? Yeah, I, the same thing was said by a critic. I forget which paper in America. And I don't remember if it was a journalist, piece of journalism or if it was an essay. <clears throat> but the guy says, so he does this, this happens, this happens. And then he goes home at the end of the play. He goes up back up to the mountain. But so what has happened? Well, what has happened is that he has been forced to look at who he is. That's our condition. We go back to the mountain. We go back to the hut. Because we can't change all these things into palaces or into Marxist visions of utopia or whatever. That's the reality that we have returned to. That means that he knows who he is. Right? Yes. He didn't know who he was before. That's what's been found. No, I agree. I, I was, I no, no, I'm just to... saying. Yeah. But that, it's not a criticism you're making. I'm saying I've had that criticism. Mm. So he goes back up the hill. So what's the big, Wait, what's the big deal? Yeah. The big deal is that's where he has to go back to. Right? He's not going to leave his charcoal pit and say, run a grocery. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just wondered about the name itself. You, you're thinking of names, casting about oh, yeah. why Felix Obeyne. Because it's the least name that you would expect him to have. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ian. Yes. Hi. Hi. Mr. Walcott, could you please um, speak to the issue or, or the concept that there is no nation like the imagination, or in other words, that the imagination is perhaps the highest nation to which we owe our, our allegiance, either as an artist or just as, an, as, as a citizen? I've, I've often used the Schoon of Flight, the um, passage that you read with Shabin, in my classes or just in speeches that I've given to say that there is no nation like the imagination or that the imagination is the nation to which we owe our highest allegiance rather than the, the nation um, to which we belong in the particularity. Could you, could you speak to that issue, please? That, that, that the imagination is perhaps the nation to which we owe our highest allegiance. In other words, there is no nation like the imagination as an artist. And I often use um, uh, um, Spoon of Flight in that way. Well, I guess she'd like you to elaborate a little bit more on, on that notion of no nation but the imagination. If you look at the reality of Caribbean literature, it is quite startling. Because if you go down the islands, starting from the Bahamas all the way down to, say, Trinidad and Tobago, on every island you can find two or three really brilliant writers. And the scale and the number of excellent artists, and that's just in literature. I'm not talking about the performing arts, like dance and music. I'm just talking about you know, poetry and prose, fiction and poetry. <clears throat> to have in one island alone, to have in Trinidad, C.L.R. James, and Naipaul, and a couple other people, and Selvon, Lovely. three or four writers to come out of an island on that, of that size, is a little better than, say, Illinois, Sorry, any Illinoisians here. <laughs> to do the same thing in Martinique, to have Césaire and Fanon and uh, Glissant and anyone else. That's four writers. Chambazou. Yeah. My God, I forgot Patrick. Sorry. <laughs> um, and you add these up. Well, what is being said? What is being said is against all the obstacles that should prevent these people appearing. They appear, and they appear differently. It's not like a school of writing. Every Caribbean writer has a separate identity, up to now, right? Um, so it's a phenomenal output in the 
time since the World War, the end of the war, to now. And to have another generation of writers coming up of very, very high quality, not so much in poetry, but in the fiction, 